Hey you! Do you want to avoid being a part of cancel culture? And sometimes you feel like saying HOLY SHARP! Which meant is carp. In that case, we have you covered with the Holy Carp merch. Comes in everything from t-shirt, mugs, hoodies, towels, and pillows. Limited edition signed version is only available until August 24th. Not sure what this is, but it's something. Links in description, iCart section, and pinned comment. Cause when you're a grain, you come in like a hurricane. Hey grains, welcome to Cash or Trash, where we decide if a craft kit is worth your cash, or if it goes... <laughs> Many of you really wanted me to bring my sister back, so say hello again to Sika. But there was a pretty big complaint in the comment section that, apparently, she doesn't blink. In today's episode, we're going to be honoring, particularly those of you who are always waiting last second to get gifts, waiting on the 24th of December to go pick up something, or for those of you who are waiting a couple of hours before a birthday party to get a gift. I feel targeted. <laughs> Really bad with kids. <laughs> so it's it's for those of you who wait so long to pick up craft kits and gifts from the pharmacy. So we're going to be looking at five kits that you can pick up at the pharmacy and whether they're worth it or not. What's in it? All right. So the first thing. We have two different slime kits. The first one is a light up slime. Have you ever heard of light up slime? Nope. Have you ever made slime? Yes. Once. When I was like eight. Okay. <laughs> so like a bajillion years ago. I am not that old. <laughs> <laughs> Look who's talking. Oh! Yeah, I went there. The next kit. <laughs> We have color changing slime, which I think is pretty interesting, kind of exciting, and a little scary. Color changing. I have a feeling it's probably just two colors that we're gonna mix together. I was right about to ask you if it's toxic, and it just said non toxic. So. <laughs> yeah, imagine it's toxic. <laughs> I'm like, that sounds toxic. Why would it change colors? Popularly requested by you, Grains. I've been tagged so many times. Oopsie, cutie tooties, surprise. A lot of you grains wanted me to check this out. This is by far one of the most expensive toys. And if you remember previously my reviews of Pootsie Slimes. That's so weird. Did you see the back? What's coming out of here? <laughs> it's dia poop. <laughs> and last but not least is supposed to be this jelly sticky animals, which kind of looked cute. I mean, it's $2.99. So if you really wanted to get something budget friendly, budget friendly for a little, a little person. Five and up. <laughs> Five and up. <laughs> Wait, when I did my craft kit in the 1940s, it was also a young age group. Expectations? Much lower nowadays. So the first thing we're going to try is the light up slime. When we look at the box, it really looks like the girl is holding some really lit up slime. It's borderline glowy. And of course, on the box, one of my biggest allergies ever. Zika, take it away. Includes everything you need. Because we all know when they say Including everything you need It's never everything you need Ever <coughs> No salt Wait for it Don't tell me what to do <coughs> Hey <coughs> That's enough That <laughs> is enough <laughs> She's my boss now <laughs> Help In addition to it being glowy It also says that it flashes in two different colors My guess is probably we're going to have LED lights That's what I was thinking That's my guess you saw nothing! You saw nothing! I saw everything! <laughs> and as we can see in the back, it does, interestingly enough, show a lot of what we would technically need. But we'll wait once we get inside. For those of you who haven't subscribed yet, make sure that you do, otherwise I will wave a sharp pointy thing at you. Unless you like that, then we need to have a talk. Alright, time to see what we get inside. One of the things that I absolutely despise when it comes to companies. And Sika, welcome to the family. Yeah, it's a waste of material. Yeah, we get a whole box this big, and this is what we get inside. So we could have technically made our waste half the amount of what it is right now. So far, I'm getting pretty salty about that because the environment needs a little more love than what we're currently giving it. Please, companies, do your part. Here's 
what we get inside. Slime activator and glue. Two popsicle sticks. So we get two glitters, one blue, one silver. I call them trashy silver and trashy blue. I hate those colors so much. <laughs> A mini measuring cup. One LED ball, which I find very weird because we have three batches. Let's see if it works. Huh, did it not work? Okay. <laughs> this is starting well. It's not working. Usually you pull it out and the battery's supposed to... Oh. Oh, you're supposed to smack it. And we also get a flimsy brush, which reminds me of the one we got from Crayola. What was that accent? I had an accent? <laughs> got, we got we one from Crayola, mate! <laughs> Remember how I said I have an issue with things that always say Include anything you need? Well, supplies we will need, not included a bowl, water, obviously, and plastic spoon. Why are these two things not included on a $15 kit? Hmm? Hmm? So now what we did is we followed the instructions by putting 15 milliliters of the glue, 25 milliliters of water, adding some glitter, blending all the ingredients together, and then 5 milliliters of slime activator. I'm gonna get water everywhere. I like how you're way more precise than I am at everything. I'm scared. <laughs> Just I'm pour not, it. I'm not pouring. Where's your sense of adventure? None. Stay home. Stay under a rock. Oh. You were supposed to do that slowly. I was supposed to do that slowly. So now it all rides on Sika. <laughs> the pressure's on you, girl. Oh my god. I'm just gonna stir real quick. I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. It's slime. How hard can it be? Uh, I don't know. A couple of your videos were pretty hard. Oh! No, we don't mention those ever. <laughs> Never. So we followed the instructions, minus me having just poured the whole thing in there. Let's take a quick look at that. Wow, English! Number one. one! Hey, your English was really messed up off camera too. Shh, they didn't see that. So, even though she did it right, and I... You didn't, you did it wrong! I know! I know! But even though we both followed the instructions, the consistency is exactly the same. It's still extremely liquidy, and it's just not turning into slime. So we've been stirring for maybe about four minutes, and it hasn't thickened at all. It does say to go in manually, but I'm gonna wait a little longer because we're gonna get so much glitter on our hands, <laughs> and it's gross. Yeah, I mean, it looks nasty. I mean, that's the that's what slime's supposed to get, I guess. I I'm sorry, I can't. <laughs> I can't. You can't say that. I was like, when is your sentence going to be completed? <laughs> I can't. Alright, so Sika decided that even though it is still very liquidy, she's going to go in manually with a glove. Oh, no, no, don't, yeah, <laughs> you go in there, you do not destroy my felt. Girl. Oh, no, it's way too liquid. Oh. Oh, that's so gross. Oh, that looks like... Oh, it's a good thing we put on gloves, eh? Wow. Look, it literally just kind of looks like saliva. Saliva is a nice way to say it. Yeah. Look, it literally looks like drool. That is gross. Try to massage it. We'll get back to your grains in a few minutes. A few moments later. All right, so we followed the instructions exactly as it's written on the piece of paper, but it's just so liquidy and it's not thickening at all. It's looking pretty gross. So this just goes to show that so far it's pretty gimmicky for $15. We're supposed to be getting three batches of slime. But if we even just look at the cups so far, those three batches are pretty sad in terms of the amount. So we're going to go ahead and put a little bit more of the activator until we get something that looks like slime as much as possible. So let's see what happens. What we're going to do is we're going to combine both our slimes just because Sika's batch was pretty much destroyed in her attempts at making it into slime. It just like leaked everywhere. All right, we're just gonna put a couple of drops at a time. You ready? Yeah. All right, stir, stir, stir. All right, so we put about double the amount of activator just to try and get to this consistency. It does still feel a little under activated, but I guess time to go in manually. All right, Sika, I'm letting you do the dirty work. All right. So let's see if it, what's coming out? That's oh, gross. It feels so nasty. That's gross. <laughs> All right, start kneading. Oh, gross. <laughs> it feels weird in my head. Keep kneading. Eating. It's going through my finger cracks. <laughs> is that even a thing? <laughs> no! Um, this isn't. Yeah, no. I'm not digging this. What, what are you doing? You're leaking everywhere! <laughs> well, why don't you help me? Oh no, don't help me! The camera's... Oh no, the camera! Oh no! <coughs> oh, this is 
terrible. Ugh, dear. Like, yeah. It's so gross. Oh, oh, oh. That is... It feels... It's so fluffy yeah, and light. Weird. And even though we've put double the amount of activator... Uh, you're distracting me. <laughs> oh, gross! <laughs> yeah, we have... <laughs> We really put double the amount of activator and it's still getting nowhere. And double the amount for doubling it up, so yeah. yeah. No, I have to close the camera. You have to find Oh uh, no. <laughs> oh dang it. Okay, hang on. I got I got I got elbows? No. No elbow. You you've messed up everything. So I thought I was clever. I'm like, you know what? I still want to do at least one portion because we're supposed to be allowed to make three batches. So I cut down the water by half, added a lot more activator, and it's still gooey, it's still gross. I can't knead it, even though we've added a lot more activator. It should, in theory, be a lot more putty, but it's just Watch not. Out, you're, you're leaking. I don't know! No! <laughs> Why'd you say it's so calm? I didn't want to mess up my blue thing. <laughs> You really want me to pat it? Yes. <laughs> oh my god! So yeah, this is this is the result we're getting. I just can't get a proper slime consistency. Their recipe is wrong, their ingredients list are wrong. It's just So this box over here, it deserves to be more mistreated than trash. You know what I have in mind? What? Are we burning it? We're burning it. We're burning it. Let's go outside. This is a crap kit, and I personally give it a 0 on 10 dorks. Zika? I agree with you, it's very much a 0 on 10 dorks. If we can't do it, nobody can. Which means, we have a second one. So we're going to fast forward through making the slime, and hope that we can at least get a consistency to see the difference of whether or not it actually does change colors. So according to the box, this is a color changing slime that should be changing colors in your hands. Which leads me to believe that it's probably it's probably has to do. <laughs> well, it has to do. It probably has to do with the warmth. That's that's my guess. Temperature change. Yeah, kind of like a mood ring. Yeah, kind of like a mood ring. Is that what that? Yeah, they were called <laughs> mood rings, but I don't know if that gives out our age because <laughs> you don't see those anymore. <laughs> no. <my gosh. laughs> One thing we didn't address in the previous kit is why did we have a brush? In no way did they actually tell us to use a brush. So it's kind of faulty. Yeah, it's almost like they're like, what do we add in here? Should we add the cup or bowl that people need to mix it in? Nah, bro, just add a brush. <laughs> Are you laughing at me? <laughs> Time to see what we get inside. The exact same disappointment. Again, as you can see, here's the full box. And that's all we're getting. This is the whole entire box. And that those, those, those are... Here's what we get inside, the slime glue and activator, most probably another useless brush, a measuring cup, two stirring sticks, and we get the colors but already separated in the same little what? container. Hang on. Wow. Okay, so this is supposed to be color changing, but we're getting two, two colors. Co two colors. Is this already activated though? It just looks like two different kinds of paint colors. I guess we'll find out. We're gonna read the instructions and follow them and see what happens. Mm. The first kit really aggravated me though. Same as previously, we're going to be following the instructions. This time it says 15 milliliters of glue, 20 milliliters of room temperature water, and a spoonful of the colorant in that mixture. Once all of it is all mixed together, they're saying to put five milliliters of the slime activator again. All right, so once we put the paint in, it's already starting to make this weird snotty type clump, which is really just odd. Why would it do that? We're just gonna keep stirring. All right, so we're adding the activator in very slowly. Okay, stop, I'm gonna keep stirring. We're making three batches in case you weren't aware. We're using all three batches. All right, hit me. So, so far we put the actual amount that they asked for in the instructions, and it's still extremely liquidy, very gooey, exactly the same as the previous one. So we're just going to keep adding more to it in hopes that it actually does change and become slime. My arms are getting so tired. Do you want help? No. <laughs> Turned you down so fast. <laughs> okay, whatever. You do you. <laughs> wow. Starting to sort of look like interesting. Soft serve ice cream. So according to the box, technically the slime was supposed to be green, but then the kid is holding orange and yellow. And so far, it's like a pink. Yeah, it looks like a reddish pink. Yeah. We've tripled the amount. So normally we for so normally for three batches, we're supposed to put 15 mLs of activator. And so far we put 45 and it's still gooey and sticky. 
At this point, I really don't care if it turns into slime because we've established that it just doesn't. But Sika really wants to know one thing. Does it change colors? And she's Probably really, not. She's really upset. Like, I've never seen her upset more at it maybe changing colors versus it turning into slime. So let's, let's find that out. I'm going to pour the whole thing into my hand right now. Oh, dear. You ready? No. Nope. Here, I'll give you this. <laughs> it's garbage. Uh, it's oh, stuck. no, you got it on the floor. No. <laughs> it stuck to my fingers. <laughs> And it's on, you left it on the floor? No! It's in the garbage now. Look, it's picking up everything. <laughs> it was picking up everything. Like, I can just stick it here and it just, it holds. That's how, that's how much glue we have in here. Okay, now I'm scared. <laughs> Is it coming out? It's so sticky. I'm just gonna take a little bit. That's not a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if it actually does change color. Stretching it should be the color changer. I don't think it's working. Oh wait, is it? You're oozing so much. I know, but we, 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 oh my God. We legitimately put 45 mLs instead of 15 of the activator. Is it changing color though? I don't think so. Or is it just the light shining <laughs> through? <laughs> okay, you know what? Let's just keep it in our hands and keep it warm. But now we can't close the cameras. We're gonna close the camera with my nose. <laughs> oh my, God, my nose, not your nose. So we've been at this for the better part of 10 minutes, kneading it, hoping that the activator activates, but it's not. You're leaking! <laughs> We're like panicking. There's no color change. It's still the same color as in the cup. As in the cup. And, oh my god, no! Did you just call me ducky? <laughs> so yeah, this is not changing colors. So the question is... Why? Why'd you have to do that on me? That's gross. Love you. So now the big question, is this worth your cash or does it go in the trash? So if you ever see anything by the company Ricochet for these slimes, avoid them like the plague. They were absolutely the worst slime kits I have ever tried. And yes, worse than some of the other YouTuber kits I've done. Next on our list, Poopsie Slime Cutie Tooties. This was highly tagged, well I was highly tagged, on this product because many of you really wanted me to check it out. Make no mistake though, this little thing, this one-time use toy was $18 Canadian for slime. That's not even a DIY. That's expensive. That's a ripoff. But, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Maybe it'll be fun. Maybe the slime quality will be good. And maybe we'll get as much slime as they show in their commercial. You look skeptical. <laughs> Don't know. I feel like I'm training her well. I feel like it weighs very little. <laughs> Okay, we have two colors. We have orange and, and we have poiple. Poiple, which are two of my favorite colors. So let's say at the same time which color we want. I think it's almost like a given, but whatever. We'll count three, two, two one, one, orange. <laughs> we, we gravitated to the, towards those colors anyways. <laughs> Purple's my favorite color, so orange is one of mine. All right, so we can get four different kinds of slimes, either crunch. Yes, so crunch, bouncy, watery, or marshmallowy. So go for it. You see little bag, store. Okay, cool. How do you open it? Oh, my dear. Do you need help? No. Do you need scissors? No. Oh, I feel so, so dumb. Well, there's a sticker. Okay. Oh, interesting. If I had to choose one, I would want the verb. Oh my god, it's so cute. Um, ooh, it smells bad. Does it? Oh yeah, smell it. You know what it smells? It smells like strong nail polish. Yeah. That's what it smells like. I'm gonna open mine too. Oh dear. You're kinda in my space. Sorry. <laughs> oh, that, that really does smell like hardcore nail polish. I like the smell of nail polish. <laughs> So this is mine. It's a little, do they look the same? Yes. Okay, so they do look the same on the outside and we're supposed to be able to open underneath. Let's do this. Oh my dear. <laughs> Where did you ever get oh my dear? I'm trying to be camera friendly. <laughs> oh my. And I got it off. Oh, I got it. Oh frick. I got oh, mine. Oh wow. Oh. What is this? I think we may have gotten the same slime. Oh, it feels so soft. Oh my gosh. It feels like gum. Yeah. Oh, so we both got marshmallow slime? Is I that think, it? I think so. Oh wow. Oh my god, it's so cool. Oh wow. Wow. That is nothing. I'm still struggling here. I'm, I'm still getting. You did quite a bit actually. I'm surprised. Ooh. 
It still, still smells, smells bad, like though. nail polish. Yeah, it still smells bad. So interestingly enough, this slime is actually really pleasant. It feels like kinetic sand slime. That's exactly what it feels like. This is really, really pleasant. Holy moly. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm trying to get the rest <laughs> out. <laughs> this is so fun. I was expecting it to be a lot less inside. Ooh, there's sparkles in it, eh? Yeah, but <laughs> you're so distracted. <laughs> but if you look closely, not only is it fluffy, but it really does feel like cloth. Very soft, very gooey, very fluffy. And it's really, really, really enjoyable to play around with. So, how's yours look? It looks pretty cool. And it's as nice as you're explaining it. So, like, it's very Ooh. soft. It's very stretchy. It's very airy, in a sense, too. Like, it's very light. There's a lot of sparkles. I don't know if you can see them on the camera here. You can see the sparkles, too. And I was expecting to receive a lot less inside, but it's a good amount. It's a good handful. Yeah, it's a good handful. Especially, I have sausage fingers and sausage hands. So, this just tells you how much of an amount we have. So, pretty impressed with the slime. I, I Honestly, this slime is the nicest slime I've ever felt, so... But it still smells like... They could maybe work on the scent and it would be perfect. Yeah. Otherwise, the smell of nail polish can be a little nauseating, but I would give this a solid 8.5 for the slime. Not I'll get the price. <laughs> Not the price. <laughs> Alright, time for the toy. You want to open yours first? Sure. If you get the bird, it's mine. Oh my god, what is that? <laughs> it's so ugly. <laughs> it looks like a baby with a star head and a unicorn. It looks so weird. It's got, like, it has eyelashes, look. It's slightly unsettling. I'm not a fan of this toy. Yeah, the eyelashes are actually really soft and they really feel like fake eyelashes. That is, that is weird. I'm very unsettled. Alright, please give me a creature that is not too baby-like. It's so creepy. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you got the cloud. I got the cloud, and it's still baby-like. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about the bodies on these toys. They're very unsettling. At least we get holographic unicorn horn. Mine's just sparkly. You petting the eyelashes? <laughs> I got so distracted, I'm like... It's okay, it's like me with the this before, I was like, whoa. <laughs> it's so fluffy, touch it. I know, it's like touching lint. I know. That was like... Yeah, it's, it's like lint. Yeah, I know. It smells terrible. I kind of want to put it over my head. So, <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Gonna have to shower to scrub you really are. <laughs> so overall, for $18, is this worth your cash or trash? That's a hard that this is really difficult to say. If this were probably, I would say eight to ten dollars, most definitely worth your cash. Yeah, I agree 100 percent with that. Uh, it's really the price that throws me off, but the product's really not that bad, honestly. But this here would technically be a gift for those of you who are last minute. So if you end up spending $17 on this, you deserved waiting last minute to buy a gift. Hey, <laughs> leave me out of this. <laughs> Hang on, because we're both very, very easily distracted. <laughs> this is what we were doing off camera, so we wanted to share with you grades. <laughs> <laughs> oh my too god, I feel like a child. <laughs> too easily distracted. Okay, we're gonna put these away. I get, put them away! Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> One of the things that I really loved about my <laughs> cast off laughing about Poopsie Slime is that they, they are consistent with their puns, just like the first few slime kits that I've done for them, even though they failed. This time though, and some of the best puns that we just saw are, um, Antarctica. <laughs> so you have Antarctica and under the Pacific. <laughs> got us both really good and then on the other side I really liked they had the bougie poops <laughs> <laughs> I'm out I'm out that's it last but not least let's try that again <laughs> oh my gosh a DIY surprise toy of balloon animals. I thought this was absolutely adorable because it gives you the chance to kind of make your own little tiny balloon and it's $2.99. So if you're just going to visit someone and you're like, I should get a little something for a little someone, at least you have that choice. But let's find out first <clears throat> if I'm gonna have to bring out the salt. If we're gonna have to bring out the salt. All right, so what scares me the most is that it seems it's from the same pharmacy company oh, no. of Ricochet. So do I have high hopes? No. Do you have high hopes? No. So we should be able to get one creature and the accessories that go with it. It reminds me quite a bit of Unis, but let's see. <laughs> Did you really just do that? <laughs> what is that? Oh, this is so Unis. It has the same ball texture, it has the same accessory kind of sticky thing. This is most definitely a spin-off of Unis, or should I say a rip-off of Unis. What? 
Yeah. Do we have instructions? Yes, I have them in my hands, but All right. you've been distracting me. So it seems like the instructions are very genetic. G genetic. Generic. <laughs> English. Generic. English number one. <laughs> They're pretty generic. Good. And it just says assemble, blow, decorate, and have fun. But shouldn't we blow first before assembling? I mean, that would be my way to do it, but it says to assemble it first. But I feel like once you start blowing it, it's gonna over expand and then it might pop off. And we're getting everything from, it seems like a tail to antlers to different kinds of ears, maybe hooves. I think this might be a deer and a face. So that, that's traumatizing. All right, let's put one together. Here, you can blow this one. I'll blow that one. Give me that! <laughs> Give me that while you get some lung action. Do you not need better than I am? You're gonna pierce right through it. <laughs> See? No, wait. It doesn't have any more instructions. No, there's really no other instructions. I think we're supposed to pierce. Okay, you hold this. I'll pull it in. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Stop panicking! It's gonna go right now, Dad! Stop panicking! Oh! That's what I got it. I think I got it though. There. This is what it looks like. I think it's deflating. This is so hard. Six hours later. We're still working on it. Okay, like this. Okay, <laughs> okay, blow. <laughs> Why? How is this? What age is this for? Five and up. Apparently, I don't have the lung capacity of a child. Capacity? <laughs> Come back here. We're not done with this. Okay. Oh. You got it. No, no, keep going, keep going, keep going. <laughs> Good. We got it. All right, so similarly to unis, you just kind of put them one on top of the other and try to make a creature based on the materials they gave you. So we have a foot. This is not working out. Stand is it rolling? Really? Oh, wow. That foot looks weird. I don't think your feet are on right. My creature can be whatever it wants. Its head is falling off. No, head! Let's put it in the middle. Okay. Nope. Nope. Ah. Oh, maybe we're supposed to put this there. So here... Here's our jelly sticky animals that is 100% an uni's ripoff. Mind you though, this is supposed to be for five and up, but it took two grown adults to be able to blow the balloons. So, is this an activity a child could do? No. Probably not. Probably not. We couldn't do it, which means five-year-olds cannot do it by themselves. In addition to that, it's pretty derpy. It is cute. The activity is cute. But is it worth three dollars, worth your cash or trash? I was pretty entertained by it, so for three dollars, kind of worth it. Kind of cute, kind of worth it, but it's not a solo activity. Quite a disturbing face right there. <laughs> kind of looks like a bug and a deer crossed together. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> Several bad puns later. Which kit did you think was going to fail 100%? Of course, there is always hindsight. And which one did you have the most hope on? I personally had the most hope on the first slime kit and the least hope on the poopy Poopies. slime. Why? Why? <laughs> Her French side came out. Why? <laughs> let me know in the comment section below. And of course, let me know if you want to see more of this one. This one <laughs> with this one. Today's shoutouts go to Babblebutt, CM Brenton, WK Lutier, designs by Susan. Thank you so much for you grains who have been tagging me for getting the merch. I love seeing you in them. As well as Becky Smith and Kita Tash. Remember, if you want a shout out in my videos, don't forget to hashtag Notification Squad in the comment section below within the first five hours of your video's release, or hashtag NerdyCrafter on Instagram or Twitter anytime with any of your creations. If you want to follow Seek on any of her social medias, I'll also leave those in the description box below. If you want to watch the previous Cash or Trash that Seek and I did together, it'll be right in the middle. And if you want to watch a crafty video, make sure you click it down here. Until then, we will see you grains next time or next week <laughs> in the next video. <laughs> Until then, I will see you, Grains. You said I. Yeah. It's not we. Well, maybe you're not coming next week. Oh my God. <laughs> Until then, I will see you, Grains, in the next video. <laughs>